All right, so the first time you open up World Creator, this is what you're going to be presented with. This is the default terrain that gets loaded into your scene. And you can access this terrain if for whatever reason you don't see a terrain in your scene. Just click on this new project. And I'm going to click on no, and it should load this default terrain into your scene. Anyway, let's move on to the navigation. Okay, so let's get the simple navigation out of the way. Uh, where you're actually going to have your mouse whether it's on this gray area or on the terrain is going to basically give you a different function of movement. So obviously if you use your mouse scroll wheel, you can scroll in and out of your terrain like this. If you use the right mouse button on either whether your mouse is on the terrain over here or on this gray area, you can see it just allows you to look around like this. But if I, let's just zoom in over here. If I hold down Alt and use my right mouse button, on the gray area it allows me to basically pan around and use my camera like this but if I hold alt and use my right mouse button on the actual terrain it allows me almost like a rotation to rotate around my scene like this so you can see it's just different forms of navigation and movement in your scene that you need to get used to so here I'm holding down alt and the right mouse button and over here, I'm just, I'm just using the right mouse button. So I'll zoom in here on my terrain. If I hold on the scroll wheel, it allows me almost like, like a dolly camera movement where I can move in and out of the terrain like this. But if I hold on Alt and the mouse scroll wheel, uh, when I'm on the terrain, it does the exact same thing. But if I hold it on this gray area, it allows me to look around my scene like this. So just get used to those controls using Alt in the right mouse button and Alt in the middle mouse button for your navigation and rotation. And you should get the hang of it in no time. So that's just the basic navigation controls for moving and looking around your terrain. All right, so this is going to be just a basic intro to World Creator. When you open up your program, you are going to be presented with this default terrain over here. So I'm going to be going over the UI very quickly and just covering things that I find to be important. There's some stuff in here, obviously, that's not that important. So I'll probably just be talking about it briefly and then skipping over it. All right, so let's start on the left over here. A lot of the stuff is self-explanatory. You can just hover your mouse over the stuff to see what it does. You can create new projects, load projects, save projects. Uh, there's stuff like a heat map, uh, which is actually going to highlight areas on your terrain that are being affected. Uh, you'll see that there'll be some areas that are red, which is going to show you a heat map. And when we get into stuff like filters and we adjust certain properties on that filter, you'll see that it's going to work in conjunction with the heat map. So it's a little bit hard to explain right now. You'll have to see an actual example of it being used. So we will get to that. Uh, the toggle observe tools is going to bring up some terrain information over here, uh, which shows you the X, Y, and E. Um, basically, information when you're hovering your mouse over different parts of the terrain, not really that important. I don't pay much attention to this, uh, but maybe it can help with scale in other programs. Uh, we've got the mannequin tool, which I actually never use. Uh, you've got the compass, which is going to show you which direction you're focusing, something I also never really use. Uh, you've got the wireframe, which is going to show you the overall detail and complexity of your actual mesh. So you can always just see that. And then there's some other tools over here, like we can toggle filters. We will get into that. We're definitely going to be using filters that helps uh, to create some really detailed terrain. And it's going to help us with the terrain generation. So this is a quick way to toggle it on and off. You can do the same for textures, objects, and other details in your scene. And then you can also just take a quick snapshot. And then just a quick uh, key binding to keep in mind. If let's say your terrain's off screen right now, if you press F, it's going to go ahead and just bring it back into view and center it. And if you press F10, that's going to take you into full screen mode. And you can see you've got this watermark over here. Or well, you've got full screen mode. So if this is how you guys like to work, you've got that option as well. So I'm going to press F10 as well. To bring that up all right so that covers the left panel over here so let's move on to the right okay so just to explain the right hand side very briefly because i'll actually be covering a lot of the stuff on the right hand side in depth as we continue with the tutorial but over here the surface area is going to be our meat and potatoes this is what we're actually going to be using most of the time for creating our terrain 
Uh, you can see there's a lot of functions here under base which I'm going to be explaining in the next video. Uh, we've got a filters tab uh, which is a lot of these presets built directly into World Creator that help you create really interesting and unique terrain. We've got a texture tab over here as well which we're going to be using later on in our course to actually completely uh, texture an entire terrain from start to finish. We've got a scenes tab uh, which is used more if you plan on actually rendering within the program itself. Uh, there's a lot of post-processing effects in here like we can add an animated ocean into the scene and a lot of the stuff over here we actually can't export out of the program. It's meant to be used with World Creator so we can add objects like trees and rocks, details like grass into our scene and animated ocean. We can control the weather and bring rain into our scene and even add an animated skybox. And then the areas tab I'm going to be covering in depth as well. This allows us to select certain areas of our terrain where we can apply very specific effects and filters. And then the post tab, which is the simulation tab, is something I honestly have never used within this program. So I don't even cover this section at all. I don't find it beneficial with my workflow and it doesn't get used at all. So I won't be going over the simulation tab, but everything else over here that I clicked on, we are going to be covering that and I'm going to be showing you how to create your own unique terrains from start to finish. So we will be going in depth. Then we have an export tab, which is going to be used for exporting our maps out of here, our displacement maps, our texture maps, and all of that good stuff. And then we've got an options tab, uh, which gives some self-explanatory features over here, some application properties for auto-saving, graphics options which would be used uh, when we actually rendering inside World Creator, a camera, some camera options, and we can actually modify the interface by changing certain colors around. So that's just the right panel very briefly. So let's actually dive straight into World Creator now. We're going to be going in depth with the right panel and we're going to be creating our first terrain. So I hope you guys are ready, buckle in, and let's do this.